Well, then in December 2013, Chloe files for divorce. Uh, it was 2013? Uh, yeah, December 2013. And when she finally filed, were you surprised? Did you think that you guys could still work it out? Or was it like, okay, I've been messing up. This is probably the best course of action at this point. Well, I mean, honestly, if a woman actually divorced you, I, if you know you done did everything wrong, you got to do a lot right. Uh, at that point, I'm just going to give her what she wants, what she asked for. Yeah. You know, when, when it comes to the Kardashians and the men associated with, with the various Kardashian uh, women, you always hear the Kardashian curse. Uh, you know, you're obviously part of this story. Um, you know, Caitlyn Jenner, Kanye, where he is right now, uh, Scott Disick. You know, but people I, like to paint this type of story. Yeah, when you that, hear the Kardashian that's, curse, how but do you that's feel? that's stupidity because everybody go through shit. You dumbasses. If I had your family on tape and seen all the shit that your family was going through, People be like, yo, this fucking family is crazy. You see all the drug addicts, all the sex, all the, they share their life with you. So you see everything. Maybe it's overexposed, but is it? People love it. Pe the people that made them are the people that point the fingers. I don't know. It's like, it's, it's kind of like sickening a little bit. And I now lived it from the inside and from the outside. You know, so I've got to, from the outside, look, see, you know, how people react to them. And it's still hard for me to figure out the love-hate that people have for them. Because the little girl's a billionaire. Yeah. These same people that, like, y'all made her a billionaire. Yep. Crazy. So it's just like, I don't, you know. I'm just able, I was just... Lucky enough to have some of that stardust fall off on me at one point in my life. And I don't really want to, like, take nothing, you know, take anything away from who I am and, and what I built. But I, I know, like, in some ways, it's the reason why I'm still relevant to this day. Because I'm not playing ball no more. Ain't no more. Ain't no more highlights on me no more. You shit, you talk, you know everything already. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? I know if I want to ask for a certain amount on an interview, or I, I, I know my worth, but come on, man. Like, let me keep it, let me keep it a buck. And this goes to anybody that knows me or knows them all. Or it ain't about taking Chloe back over you. Or I know why I still get a look. And the looks that I still get is due to some, is a lot of it is because of the love that they gave me. Real rap. And fuck anybody that goes against that. Well, uh, your oldest daughter, uh, Destiny, mm -hmm. she described your marriage to Chloe as toxic. Uh, she said. Well, she, uh, yeah, she, but Destiny, you know, you know forgive her. Forgive what did, um, Jesus say, forgive them for they know not what they do. She was young. She and she was, you know, forced to like stay away from from Chloe at one point. She didn't even was not even allowed in our wedding. Mm. You know, and I don't even want to, I didn't come here to do this interview to expose, you know, my daughter, or, you know, what someone might be teaching her how to live or whatever, but that's the fat real fact. Well, what she said, which is kind of my point in this, is that she said, I wouldn't say it was a matter of my dad loves Chloe more than me. I think that my dad has an addictive personality, so my dad was addicted to the attention that he got with Chloe more than me. And she was wrong. She was wrong. I was more popular than Chloe at that time. There you go.